the one looking for the down low on Pastor Bob Beeman? Yeah? Hey, come here. Come here. I got what you're looking for. Come here. All right. Are you ready to check this out? All right. Take a look at this. Hi, I'm Chris Storman, and welcome back to So What? We are continuing our look at the motivational gifts of Romans chapter 12. This week, I'm going to look at the gift of leadership. Now, if you are watching this podcast, it's because you have been touched in some way or you are familiar with the ministry of Pastor Bob Beeman and Sanctuary International. Now, because you have probably watched hundreds, maybe thousands of Pastor Bob's podcasts, or maybe you were uh, involved in one of the sanctuary churches around the country or, or somewhere around the world, you've been touched by a sanctuary international ministry, you might believe or you might, you might have concluded that Pastor Bob's primary motivational gift is an easy one to figure out. It's got to be teaching. That's got to be his primary motivational gift. And you know what? You would be wrong. Yeah. Bob is an effective teacher, and he certainly has the gift of teaching, but that's not his primary motivational gift. If you were to ask Pastor Bob, he would tell you his primary motivational gift is the gift of administration, which is what Paul says in 1 Corinthians 12 and talking about the gifts. And in Romans 12, the word is leadership. I believe they're two heads of the same coin. So what does this mean? What is someone who has the gift of leadership? First, this is not talking about a church office, not in my view. This is not talking about elders or deacons or if you believe in deaconesses. It's not talking about anything like that at all. This is just about someone who is gifted to lead others, okay, in any capacity in in the church, okay, but not talking about specifically church leadership, okay? So when, when when I think about this, someone with this gift, I, I, I naturally, I think of Pastor Bob. I think of someone who, who really, someone who has big ideas. And when there's a problem, when there's a problem, Pastor Bob is one of the first people that I call. Because I know he'll have ideas. I know he'll have suggestions and thoughtful things to say to sort of steer me in the right direction. But he won't try and take care of it himself. Interestingly, what Pastor Bob does, for those of you who've had this 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 opportunity to, to see him in action in this way is he, he really tries to encourage you to take steps to to step out and and to do things to solve the problem to reach out to others to to effectively minister to others he doesn't necessarily take it on himself but he tries to bring other people in and that that is someone with the gift of leadership think about the Lord Jesus Christ Okay? Think about God incarnate. And then you think about the 12 disciples. Okay? Would you have picked those men? <laughs> I sure as heck wouldn't have picked those men. And, and when you think of Paul, when you think of Paul, a, a brilliant choice. I mean, a brilliant choice. Who could be more believable in communicating the power of the resurrection than this Christ hater, right? But would you have thought of him? Of course not. But Jesus did. Jesus did. And someone with the gift of leadership, they are they're gifted at seeing the gifts in others and and they 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 go out of their way to include them. Yes, people come to them with a problem. People come to them with ministry ideas, but then with with the, someone with this gift what they do is they look for ways to get other people involved. That's what someone with this gift does. They're not about making their name bigger. They're not about spreading their own fame and becoming more popular. Oh no. Their mantra is that is that Jesus must become greater and I must become less. I must get other people involved and so that they might grow and blossom into the leaders I know Christ wants them to be, but, but I don't need the credit for it. That is a biblical leader, a biblical leader, someone with, with the gift of leadership slash administration is a servant. And how they serve the body, how they serve the body, is by by recognizing the gifts and calling in others and encouraging them to use those gifts. Beloved, it's a precious thing, and it is a gift that can transform lives. If you've been touched by Pastor Bob Beeman's ministry, then you know firsthand. You thought it was really primarily about teaching. 
It's about his other gift, the gift of leadership, administration. That gift, that gift changed my life. It wasn't necessarily Bob's teaching. It was his, his gifts as a leader. He saw things in me that I never knew were there, that I had no idea were there. When I first went to talk to Pastor Bob, when he sort of reached out to me, I'm just this guy in the congregation, he reaches out to me. And he goes, hi, I'm Pastor Bob. I go, hi, I'm Chris. Yeah, I, I think we should, we should talk sometime. I don't even if he remembers this. Well, I was really hoping at that time, I want to make sure no one's watching or listening. It was my hope that maybe someday I might sing on the worship team. <laughs> that was my hope. And when I met with him, I was hoping that, that I might get an opportunity to do that one day because I really enjoyed the worship. I enjoyed singing. And I told that to Pastor Bob. And Pastor Bob goes, you know what, Chris? I think God has something else for you. <laughs> and, and again, it, like so many other things in my experience with Pastor Bob, it just snowballed into me, you know, preaching and teaching the Word of God. That is someone with the gift of leadership, administration. They see the gifts in others and they look for ways to, for others to use those gifts. There's a problem, they're the first person someone calls. Does that describe you? Are you that person that gets that call when someone wants to start a new ministry? Are you the person that says, hey, could you head this up? If you have this gift, realize it's not your place to solve the problem. It's your place to bring others in that they might use their gifts and fulfill the calling on their lives as you feel, fulfill the calling in your own. If you have this gift, you must use it with all diligence, Paul said. And the word means exactly that. You must spare no effort. You must work very hard, nonstop, to make sure you are faithful with the ministry that God has given you. The ministry of leading others, leading others to find their own gifts, their own calling, and giving them an opportunity, an opportunity to share in the work of the gospel. Does any of this ring true for you? Then you, my friend, you just might have the gift of leadership. Thank you for tuning in, my friends, and I'll talk to you next week.